the statistics are horrendous. Basically, no one survives. My name is Brooke Walsh and I'm from Perth, Australia. I was diagnosed, was diagnosed with a brain tumour. It was a grade two, initially an astrocytoma and then upgraded to a um, glioblastoma and diagnosis then changed my whole life from there. I went through a mourning process of mourning the life that I thought I was to have, which was going to be ripped away from me. The medical profession gave me very little hope, and so I remember saying to my family, if they didn't give me hope, then I'm going to go somewhere where I can find hope. The way I found Tyler was hearing a story about another success story of a, a man with brain cancer um, that had gone there and, and healed himself. So I thought, I've got to investigate this further and find out who this Tyler man is. And before going to Tyler's um, self-care adventure, I definitely was already applying a few of those principles. Obviously, I was very much, I'll need to get out and get sunshine. Here we learnt how bad some of the processed used foods are and that we needed to go to whole foods. We weren't aware of, you know, some of the dangerous ingredients within our personal products. Relationships were important. I put everyone else before me and, and myself last. But after going and speaking to Tyler and going through and learning about relationships, I realised that the relationship with myself had to be improved, that I had to learn how to love myself, which was probably my biggest challenge, because for me that was just foreign and, and how do I love myself? And I felt like loving yourself was making you selfish. So I learned that in, I needed to love myself and be looking after myself to then be the best person to then be able to give to my husband and my children. I loved my job and I was good at my job, but I don't think I was passionate about my job. I definitely managed to find a new passion for like health and wellness and helping others and loving myself and made all those major changes through the knowledge that Tyler gave us. Luckily with the seven principles, a lot of them don't cost, I mean a lot of them, you know, the sun and the air and the water, you can get that without a charge. So those ones are fine. Obviously the whole foods, I and mean, we just find they're so, so expensive. So that's a bit challenging, but we think that our health is more important. So we find the money and we'll sacrifice other things to get the food that we need. The biggest change in me since this, this being on this journey would be the way that I see life and the things that I find important and the things that I'm grateful for. People could see the way I was changing and how I was healing when I shouldn't be healing. They told me that my hair would never grow back after the you know, treatment and it did. They told me I'd never walk and I walked. I found that I didn't have to go out of my way to educate people. I was just a walking, I guess, advertisement of of this, what this lifestyle can do for you.